so we're gonna talk about auction and what what I've seen with auction as a farmer, you know. And it'll look a lot of times like almost like drought stress. You know, you take it, let's say early season auction, you know, we've and and it's real harsh when I've no till before, you know, when you no till through a swag and and you get two or three rains, the corn gets six, eight inches tall, and man, it's rolled up because it just can't get any air. You know, what used to be in the old times, you know, every rain and dad would have to squat there and we'd cultivate a field, you know, and the corn would never look any better after after you cultivate, you know, you put that air back in the ground. So it's something to that, you know? So um, for me, in a lot of cases, it's the strip till has helped me to create that auction. It gives that drying zone and a zone that you can get air down into around that seedling as it starts to grow. Taking CO2 from the air, converting it out, pulling the carbon and the oxygen apart and uh, getting that carbon piece for the energy uh, cycle in the plant. Really the oxygen is just a byproduct of that process and the plant really doesn't use a whole lot. It converts that CO2 into oxygen so it's a very important process, very important nutrient that plant deals with. Um, the other thing is too, just not within plants, but in the soil, oxygen is the most abundant a nutrient in the soil as well. So it's important in the soil for airspace, for the microbial life in the soil as a process of mineralizing nutrients and stuff for the plant. Oxygen is very important there. If your soil gets too tight, it's too bound up, that's lack of oxygen. So there are really negative effects of that. So some people use tillage to offset that. Uh, some people use other means to get better uh, oxygen abundance in the soil. So it's, it is a key. It's, I think, roughly around 45% of what the plant is made of, uh, but uh, it's really just a byproduct of all the processes within the plant. You know, so when we're doing strip tail, we're almost like, in essence, creating it where it can get air around that plant. You know, we're strip tilling in the fall and there's a lot of there's several months that go by, you know, before you plant, but it's still, it's got a seed bed of six, eight inches, eight inches wide, six, eight inches deep, that it's loose ground, that it's not compacted. And so therefore it'll make it to where, you know, it's easier to get oxygen in and around the root zone where, where it's needed. What can happen with an overabundance, like in an irrigation scenario, you get too much oxygen in the soil, you can over oxygenate it, cause, you know, everything to go dormant because there's too much oxygen it can process it right. So it can be, can be a negative effect in too much abundance. So it's kind of a balancing act there as well. When we when we irrigate with water and stuff, especially in the drip world, not oversaturating the soil and really shutting down a lot of systems. And uh, you get that with like flooding events, big rains in these flatlands, not, not here, but you know, go Eastern, Eastern Iowa, even Matt down in the Delta, you know, you get all that water on top of the soil. It can really just be a detriment to the soil biology. So. There's a balancing act with, with oxygen, keeping it balanced out. And you know, you see it in the bottoms as well. When I, when I say it looks like it's drought stress, it'll roll up when it can't get air and it'll have water on it because of lack of oxygen. So oxygen is very important. And I don't think us as farmers, you know, we want to put talk about fertility and everything else, but we don't always ever understand the power of oxygen. You know, I'd like to do some trials on figuring out how to put oxygen back into the soil and oxygen of the plant. You know, there's things they do with putting oxygenating water, you know, as well. So there's a lot of things to go from, but oxygen is a major, major player, you know, in the whole development of a corn plant or any plants that matter. So it's, it's not an essential uh, nutrient. We don't apply it like potassium or phosphorus, but it is very important in the plant's life cycle as a byproduct of a bunch of energy processes that the plant needs to go through to raise yields or go grow uh, during vegetative stages or reproductive form. So it's, it, it's very important. It's for, important for us as humans as we need oxygen to breathe. The plants give us that as they convert CO2 or carbon dioxide into oxygen.